G'day legends. Not too long ago, we took a look at a company called Automy, which has an awesome online application that allows you to upload vocal recordings and convert them into professional sounding AI vocalists. And they have quite a large catalog of voices that you can choose from. And they all sound pretty awesome. One of the things we touched on in that other video was that it was best to tune your vocals before uploading them and converting them to the new AI voice. Because if the original file had pitch issues, those would be carried over into the AI vocal. So to get the best mix ready results, it was good to tune them beforehand. So I think Automy were listening and they've now included an edit pitch section, which allows you to either add a quick auto tune to the vocal, or you can do some manual pitch correction as well before converting them to your new AI vocal. So I've made a little demo here so we can test this out. The vocals have been comped, but they haven't been tuned. You'll be able to hear there's a few little pitchy issues and hopefully we'll be able to fix that with the auto me pitch correction. So have a quick listen, check out this vocal. Wake me up, I think I'm dreaming. I think I'm stuck somewhere between the here and the other. I've been tethered, I'm paralyzed, I'm paralyzed, I'm paralyzed, oh. I'm paralyzed, oh. Oh. So it's not too bad, but you can hear there's a little pitchy stuff here and there, especially like this very last note, that tail end you can hear a little bit of pitch stuff happening there. So let's see if we can sort this out before we convert this into the new AI vocal. So what I need to do is export this vocal track so I can upload it onto the Audemy site. So to export this as a mono file, what we need to do is click on it, come up to file, export, one region as audio file. So then I can just label it down here. We'll call it vocal for Audemy. If you have any plugins that you want to get rid of, hit bypass. But otherwise, just trim silence at the end of the file. That's fine. Wave 24 bit overload protection if you're worried about it clipping. I'm just going to leave that on, even though it should be fine. And let's hit export. So, this is the Audemy site. I'm currently logged in. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick an AI vocalist. So, up here, we can select the vocalist that we want to use and we can search through their wide variety of vocalists and we can click on the play button to audition what they sound like. It never fades away. You stay in. Been living this life so patient. Yeah. Life is a so I think I'm going to roll with Blake for this one. See how this turns out. So we just click on him. Now what we need to do is drop our file in here. Wake me up. So our vocal file is now uploaded. Now we can come down to edit pitch. We can do quick tuning. This is basically just a quick auto tune. Can select the key. This song is in B major, and then we can decide how much pitch correction we want to apply. So the pitch is going to snap it to the note, and then the vibrato is going to smooth it out. And the more we do with this, the more auto tuned it's going to sound. So we probably want just like a little bit of vibrato, and then maybe just push the pitch up pretty hard and see how it goes. Now we can come down here, hit convert, and see how this went. Wake me up. I think I'm dreaming. I think I'm stuck Somewhere between the here and the other I've been tethered I'm paralyzed I'm paralyzed I'm paralyzed Oh It's not too bad Maybe we can pull the pitch back a tiny bit And let's see how that goes Wake me up I think I'm dreaming I think I'm stuck somewhere between the here and the ether. So that bit definitely sounded better. The here and the ether, that bit sounded way less tuned. So just tweaking it a little bit and then reconverting it, got some better results there. Let's download this and chuck it in our track. Just line it up with the original. Let's have a listen to how this sounds. Wake me up. I think I'm dreaming I think I'm stuck Somewhere between the here and the other I've been tethered I'm paralyzed I'm paralyzed I'm paralyzed Oh <laughs> That's so good 
I'm paralyzed, oh Oh. So definitely sound like it cleaned up all those pitch issues. And it just sounds so good. It already sounds like a really nice polished vocal. Just put it in your mix, set the level, and it sounds pretty good. So that's a pretty cool feature, being able to give it a quick tune over there. Of course, that relies upon the vocal being pretty close to being on the right track. If your vocal was really pitchy and the pitch corrector started pulling the notes to the wrong place, you're not really gonna get the results that you want. So this is where the manual pitch editor is gonna come in handy. So let's check that out. And don't forget that if you wanna support this channel, you can check out the description link below, check out my website, grab yourself a sample pack or a mixing course. Doing that is a massive support. So underneath our quick tuning, we've got the pitch editor. This lets us do some manual tuning. So what it's gonna do now is it's gonna convert that audio file into like a Melodyne style thing here where it's got all the notes mapped out across the piano roll and it's gonna allow us to manually tweak it. Okay, so we've got these little sliders down the bottom which allow us to zoom in and out. We kinda of wanna zoom in until we see this squiggly line, which is the vibrato of the voice. Now we can go full screen, definitely helps us see a little bit more. And so what we're looking at the moment is with the pitch correction applied. So we come up the top here and we pull this back. We can see it goes back to what the pitch was originally. Now we hit play. Wake me up, I think I'm dreaming. Now if we crank this up, let's see if we hear much difference. Wake me up, I think I'm dreaming. All right, so you see, we get the, the T-Pain version. So let's pull the vibrato back. Let's just bring the pitch back to like 50, 60%. Say if you do something like that, which was an accident, you come up here and click this X. Oh no, that undid everything. This would be a, an undo button here. Undo or redo. So I can click and drag this note around. <laughs> If you don't want to hear the sound, you just click on the little speaker up here to mute it. But when you play it back, you should still be able to hear it. Wake me up. So for example, say that I was a little bit sharp on this note here and the auto tune was pulling it closer to an E rather than an E flat. Let's have a listen to what this sounds like. Wake me up. You know, it's like, ooh, that's not right. So we could come in here into the pitch editor and then we could drag this note down to where it should be. If you hold down option and click and drag, it does a fine tuning, which is nice to just get it placed just right. So then you can move through the whole performance and you can tweak it until it sounds just right. Down the bottom, you've got some options for editing. So if you click on pitch, which is where we are now, that's basically just dragging notes around and getting them in pitch. And then you can go over to vibrato and then we start changing the amount of vibrato per note. So we can smooth out anything that's a little bit wobbly, but we can also add that really auto-tuned synthetic sound to it. And then we can go into drift, which kind of just helps us straighten out our vibrato if it's a little bit too sharp or flat at the beginning or the end of a note. And then we can come to cut and we can make cuts on our notes just by clicking if there's anything that needs to be split up. So you've got all the options there to tune your vocal and get it sounding really good and then convert it into your new AI vocal. If you hold down control and then drag over a batch of notes, you can select them all at once and then you can edit them all at the same time. So let's say I wanted to pitch everything up a semitone here. I could hold down control, drag it over all the notes and then click and drag it up. Pretty straightforward. So another cool feature is that when you click on any of these piano notes, it snaps all of the vocals to that one note. So we wanted all of our notes to be an E, and it's gonna snap them all to that. And then we can start making layers and vocal stacks. If you wanna just like stack single notes on top of each other over the top of a vocal melody, it can be really cool. I think I'm dreaming, I think I'm stuck. So what's cool is we can also create harmonies off of the same vocal file as well. So let's create a harmony that's a third above. So we're gonna move this E flat up to F sharp. Uh So I think that'll sound pretty cool when we put it against our vocal. Now, the thing that would be cool to see in this as a suggestion is that if we can keep our original vocal as like a guide, and then when creating harmonies, we can hear that original vocal at the same time, makes it easier to determine if the harmonies sound good or not when we're being creative with that stuff, because it is a little tricky when you can't hear the original vocal to know exactly if the harmony sounds quite right but I, I have a good feeling this is gonna work out good. I'm gonna continue this harmony along all the way through and then we'll have a listen to what it sounds like. I'm gonna pick a different voice for this. I'm gonna go with Jasper. See if Jasper can do a harmony. Let's hit convert. 
Wake me up. I think I'm dreaming. That sounds pretty cool. So let's download this and then we'll add Jasper in. Wake me up. I think I'm dreaming. I think I'm stuck somewhere between the here and the other. I've been tethered. I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed. Oh. So it sounds pretty cool and it does sound like two voices rather than the same voice stacked on top of each other. And if we wanted to create a little bit more space, we could always add something like Waves Doubler on it. So I've just applied Waves Doubler and I've removed the center. So we've just got the, the panned out left and right with the sort of harsh effect where it's been shifted slightly on one side. It sounds pretty good. Wake me up, I think I'm dreaming. I think I'm stuck Somewhere between the here and the other I've been tethered I'm paralyzed I'm paralyzed I'm paralyzed Oh I'm paralyzed Oh Oh So that's pretty cool, being able to give the vocals a little bit of a tune, as well as being able to shape harmonies that you can then export using different voices. That's pretty awesome. So just remember, this is where we started. Wake me up, I think I'm dreaming. And that has become this. Wake me up, I think I'm dreaming. Which is pretty cool. And even if I wanted to keep my voice, and just have the harmony from Jasper. Let's see how that sounds. Wake me up. I think I'm dreaming. I think I'm stuck. Somewhere between the here and the other. I've been tethered. I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed. Oh. That sounds really cool. Like even though they're the same file, it sounds like two voices. It doesn't sound like my voice just stacked on top of it, which, you know, when you make fake harmonies in Melodyne and things like that, it can sound a little bit processed where this sounds pretty authentic. So you may not want to replace your vocal. You might just want to create some harmonies using other vocals to add more texture to the music. And then you can do that directly over on the Automy app with the pitch editor, which is pretty awesome. But definitely a cool new feature that they've added and I've noticed that there's way more AI vocals to choose from now than when we first checked it out. There's a quite a large catalog of voices there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to test this out for yourself, there will be a link in the description below. If you want to check out another video where I use Automy to create a duet between myself and an AI vocalist, then check out this next video coming up. Wake me up. I think I'm dreaming.